Let me tell you of a place, my son, that flows into the rising sun, a river that runs through me and you. As you grow to tell the tale of the mighty she and the people there that love the place that I call home. Give her, you're on the river. Give her, you're on the river. This episode of Give on the River is brought to you by NBCC Miramichi Campus. Potential lives here. Hi Miramichi, welcome to another episode of Give on the River. Today we're here at the Miramichi Rod River Resort where Smart Technologies is awarding Miramichi the, the, the distinction of Canada's first smart community. Hi, Mayor Machine. I'm here with Patrick Nagel. He's the Vice President of Sales America for Smart Technologies. Welcome to Mayor Machine, Patrick. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Tell us a bit about the purpose of Smart Technologies. Fundamentally, uh, both in our past and I think into our future, we're dedicated uh, to ensuring that we're providing educators with the opportunity to allow students to, uh, to be engaged, uh, and to excel in the classroom, and, and so far um, we're meeting that mission. We've branded Miramichi as uh, the, a smart showcase city, the first in the world, and we didn't choose you. Uh, we were fortunate you chose us. Ah, perfect. Uh, we've, uh, we've had a long-standing relationship, uh, first with the education community here, uh, but that has expanded, and now we see our products being used in a very robust fashion, sure. both in the education environment, yeah. but also throughout the community, in businesses. Uh, the students who become accustomed to the product in the education environment are helping them in the workplace and uh, and as a result uh, we're seeing a rapid and, and quite intricate adoption in the workplace and it's sort of it is a community-wide adoption and it's it's one of a kind for now it's unique it's very exciting you've become a role model for us and uh, we hope to share that story uh, throughout Canada and throughout North America. Hi Mary Shea we're here with Megan Woods she's the MC this evening. I'm uh, Megan how is how is the uh, smart board and the products of smart technologies helped you in, in, in the education process? Well, actually, it gives us a better view of what's going on. Um, I learned actually with um, chemistry and atoms, you get to actually functionally see what's going on and the different ways that things um, react a lot easier than having a teacher write it out on a chalkboard. And going from slide to slide is easier than erasing a whole entire board. And it's just, it's actually sped up the process of learning a lot more than what you would have taught, been taught and how you would have been taught. And of course, with uh, District 16, there's a smart board in every classroom, and uh, the students at District 16 have a distinct advantage over students that do, do not have the, the uh, facilities. Absolutely. Um, I look at other districts who don't have smart boards, and I actually think to myself, how do you learn? Like, it's a smart board does wonders, and people don't seem to grasp that, but that I hope that this event right here will help us grasp how good smart boards are for our community. Well, thank you very much for your participation. Thank you very much. Hi, Mayor Michi. I'm here with Carolyn Simmons and A.J. Adams from uh, Gretna Green Elementary School. Uh, Carolyn is the principal at, at Gretna Green. Uh, Carolyn, what difference does a, a, a smart board make to a student? To a student, I think it truly engages the students uh, to a point where they it empowers them to do different projects on their own. Not only, not only do the teachers uh, use it as a method to keep the kids engaged in what they're learning, but the students uh, themselves have taken on a new uh, role with it and are presenting the things throughout the curriculum. So. What do you think of the uh, smart board, AJ? Oh, I think smart boards are amazing. Um, I think it helps smart. teachers with their teaching. Smart. It helps smart. students. Smart. Yeah. Amazing. Perfect. D do you use it a lot? Yeah, we use it a lot in our classroom. Yeah. Who's your teacher? Mr. Como. Perfect. He's a pretty cool guy. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Give her. Uh, Jim, we, we heard uh, uh, several examples of, of how uh, the smart board is used in an educational setting. Uh, how can it be used in, in, in a positive manner in a, in a tourism setting? Uh, very easily, uh, Chopper. The, um, we uh, set our board to, uh, to uh, suggest uh, to, our, to our tourists that uh, they can travel over to Historic Chatham Business District. They, they can go come to the board, link to different restaurants, O'Donoghue's, uh, Sadler's, you know, all the other restaurants in town, including our own. Sure. Uh, the exciting thing this year is uh, we're going to Skype in uh, our other partners. Uh, there's 12 other boards within our region. Yeah. The, our other partners are going to Skype into uh, the hotel in the morning, uh, and we'll let our guests know what time each one's Skyping in. Very nice. And they'll be able to sell their uh, day adventure, their museum, whatever it is, wow. uh, to the tourists, all with the goal of keeping tourists one, at least one day longer, preferably more. Hi, Mary Machine. We're here with Terry Power. He's our uh, man in the scene for, um, for Envy Tourism here in Mary Machine. Terry, what does it mean to Mary Machine to have the distinction of Canada's first smart city? 
I think the best thing, Chopper, is that we're really embracing technology. We're moving forward. And I think for me, everything I've seen, technology, smart boards, it's, it's really what's powerful is that the creativity that our youth are showing and the enthusiasm. And moving forward, I think that's what's going to really lead us, and I think that's the most powerful thing for me. Hi, Mayor Machine. We're with Lori Keown. He's the uh, District Superintendent for District 16. Lori, what has a smart board meant uh, for District 16 as an educational tool? Primarily what it's done is, is it's become a very, very uh, useful instrument for engaging children. Uh, it, it, uh, the level of engagement has increased tremendously. It's also resulted in some, some very, very dramatic and, and phenomenal uh, changes in the way that teachers approach teaching in the classroom. And that's had payoffs in terms of, of achievement as well. One of the things that it's done is, it, it, for example, with our rural communities, it, 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 it's opened up not only possible uh, possibilities of day-to-day -day communication with schools within the district, but schools around the, 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 the world. We have, for example, schools in our district who are in rural settings who are in, in uh, uh, daily or, or weekly or uh, certainly some sort of, of, of uh, communication with, with countries and, and, and cities around the world. Uh, the Netherlands, uh, with Germany, with, with, with uh, Mexico, uh, with other parts of Canada. So, so it's opened up a world to them which, which would not otherwise have been available to them. From Zach and Bailey here at Rod River Miramichi Resort, Giver. Yeah. Yeah. The, river. the place that I call home. Give her, you're on the river. Give her, you're on the river.